Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be continuing the beginner scripting series that we have started last month before I had to go off to do final exams. So let's get right into this video. So today we're going to be doing events and what I mean by events is we're going to be doing touch event and click events. So both of these events work the same way, but are very, very different. So first, let's get out a spawn point because we're actually gonna need to spawn somewhere and it's gonna be need to be closer to the parts. We're gonna take this part and we're going to scale it and anchor it. So we wanna make sure that this is the part that we can touch when we go up to it. So once we have this part, we'll now insert a script inside of it. So I will make the script bigger for you guys to see it and now we will configure this part so we'll do script dot parent dot touch right here dot connect function and that'll be it so this will connect the event to a function or else the event won't play so now once we're in here, you can print a function, you can print saying I was touched, but we won't, we won't do that. We're going to configure this to change the parts color. Um, so we'll do this as script dot parent dot brick color equals brick color dot new. And we'll change this to be linen and we'll change the script script dot parent dot name and we'll name this as touch parts. Oops, I can't sell today. So basically what this is gonna do is we're gonna call the script dot parent, which is our part, and we're gonna if it is touched, we're we're gonna connect that to a function. Once we connect it to a function, we're gonna change the brick color and we're gonna change it to linen. After we change the brick color, we're going to change the name and we're going to name it to touch part. Now we're going to hit play. Basically, what we should see is the part was renamed and the color was changed. So right there, we see that the color was changed and it was made a touch part. So those are the two basic things you can do with it. So basically all it does is it takes the touch event and it calls each function. Now you could also change the transparency of the part or whatever you want to do. So now you could also also make it so that it kills a player when it touches it. So basically your kill bricks when you're in there. So basically what it means by kill brick is um, for obbies, you have a kill brick, you touch it, kills you. So that's what you can use the touch event for as well if you want to go down that route. But it's very different. So for the kill brick, it's the same function, but you just add hit on there. And then you can do local hum um, equals um, hit find first child humanoid. Oops. And then you can just play around with the health. So that's how you just configure that. But we're not going to get into that because we're not doing an obby, so we don't need to configure that. Now that we have the touch part, let's go on to the click, clicking part of this. So basically, you grab another part, anchor it. We're not going to do anything with this. And you're also going to insert another script. So once in this part, you want to get yourself a click detector. So we can do this as script.parent.clickdetector dot mouse click connect function oh i have my caps on now we're going to put this in here as player so basically this will define anything you use inside of the function and we're going to be using a player so now we'll do this as script dot parent dot brick color equals brick color dot new we'll do this as Camo, and then we do this as script dot parent dot name 
we'll make that equal lick part. Make sure it's in quotation marks. We need to click part. Now, what we want to do is we want to go over to our toolbox and I want to insert a sword. Okay. So it should be this sword. We'll hit OK and let's put it not in there. So let's put it into replicated storage now. So now, now that we have something new, we want to locate the sword. So we can do local sword equals game dot um replicated storage oops replicated storage dot classic sword now we're gonna do the sword dot parent equals player backpack so once we play once we click the part color should change names should change and we should have the sword in our backpack we have the sword in our backpack and that is so loud that is like so loud i did not notice that that was so loud let's turn down my volume i am so sorry if that was louder than my voice but that has given us that is still super loud my volume is only at 28 now okay so that gives us that so the color was changed and it gives us our sword now it's also changed the click part now these two things are very different so basically you can use the same thing as touching it where you can touch it and it gives you the sword so those are two basic events that you could use in this um with these functions with these parts there's a lot more events and these are most of the basics that you usually use a lot so now what can you use the click event for? You can use the click event to give you a type of accessory, a type of um, weapon. You could do it to open up a GUI if you want a part to open up a GUI. So basically you can have it be like if you're doing um, a register, you can click on the register and it opens up a GUI. And you can have it do that that way. So there's multiple uses for all of these. So before I close down my cafe, because I'm now opening up a hotel, this touch this touch event made it so that we could add and remove uniforms from a player and um and it do, did so much for that and you could also do it basically the touch event could also work for changing a player's team um if you're doing like a role play style game with the, those old time role play style games where you go into a color it changes your team to that color um could also do the touch event to change any part of your face change colors on your body you can do it basically for anything um but mainly the uses i usually use it for is basically just changing teams and changing clothing the click part thing i usually give weapons and open up the GUIs. so that's pretty much all the uses you can use that with the events um, if there's any other events that you want me to go through um, that you don't really know how to use, drop them out, drop them down into the comment section, and we will, and I, not we, and I will go ahead and do them and teach you guys how to use them. In the next video, I think I'm going to go with functions, um, so that if you have functions, so basically, functions are a little bit different than events. This only connects it to a function. But next video, we're going to do actually different functions. So you can use the uses of functions just so you don't have to have all these different things. So it's it's pretty useful. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, go check out my other scripting videos. The links will be in the description. And there should be like a little eye over here that should have popped up that gave my other scripting video in this series. Um, also, I'm thinking about restarting how to script a cafe or changing the name to something different. Um, the last time I did this, did this, I believe was last year. And that's when I said I was quitting scripting on YouTube, but I'm back another scripting video. If you guys did enjoy this video, um, please be sure to check out my other content. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If you tune in tomorrow, thank you. Bye bye. Built an empire of stars. As the bridges were falling.